follow this appointment setting guide and land your first role within the next two weeks. These were my very first commissions earned as an appointment setter, which with a few DMs back and forth got me $179 in a few minutes. With a few different options, I'll give you the overview you need, combining the knowledge that not only I've gained watching other appointment setting guides here on YouTube, but also giving you insight from someone who actually appointment sets and has gotten proper training. So if you like money and you're ready to learn a new skill, watch this entire video and from top to bottom, I will cover what high ticket sales is, how appointment setting works, how to land and perform on a role, and the best for last, a small list of do's and don'ts. So you can save time and avoid the most common mistakes all the newbies are making and even I myself made in the beginning so you can start earning ASAP because that's what we're here for. All right, Liv, what is high ticket sales? Am I selling concert tickets? Am I doing cold outreach and calling people all day long? No, and this isn't any sort of door-to-door -door car sales or office job either. High ticket sales is a type of sales that genuinely helps other people and changes their lives. We're helping people who want and need help. Listen, most of you guys are probably like me. Initially, I didn't really care what I did online. I just wanted to make good money in the easiest way possible. Turns out making a lot of money and the word easy tend to not line up often or it comes after a big hurdle. Something I did learn though is that no matter what online business you choose to go down, whether that's dropshipping, Amazon FBA, SMMA, they are all selling something. So at the core of this all, I understood that if I wanted to make good money online, I'd have to learn how to sell fundamentally regardless. If I cut corners in the beginning, I'd end up coming across skill issues later on. High ticket sales is pretty simple. High ticket just means expensive. So anything that costs over $2,000 is considered high ticket. This business model essentially has three main roles digital marketing, remote closing, and appointment setting. I'll leave a detailed video in the description so you can watch after this one, which explains the entirety of high ticket sales and makes it so much easier to understand the business model and how all three roles interlink. The niche we will be referring to today is the e-learning industry because it's set to hit over 200 billion and is consistently growing. People who operate in the e-learning industry are people like coaches and consultants and business owners. Think of people like Iman Godzi, Tony Robbins, Grego Gallagher, Alex Ramosi. These people sell high ticket offers in order to change and better people's lives. Whether it's financial or fitness or even mindset, these people are offering services to help other people improve their lives. The reason I tell you this is because yes, these people sell high ticket offers, but these business owners don't have the time of the day to be booking in phone calls and taking those sales calls all day long. So that's where they hire appointment setters and closers on their team. Appointment setters set up the call and the closer takes the call closing the deal. It's pretty simple and straightforward. I'll give you an example. Let's say there's someone like me who wants to get into business and they want to start their own business, except they have no idea how to actually run a successful business. So they want someone who has been through this process before and knows how to run a successful business to guide them and mentor them through the process. If they're going to take this seriously, they might want to reach out to get some coaching and consulting or mentorship from that entrepreneur. If that entrepreneur sells an offer, then that person can pay to be a part of their program who also helps other people do the same. Therefore, having to get an appointment set up to then talk to someone about everything that they need and if this is the right fit for them, and if all in all is good, then they can be a part of the program and start getting the guidance that they truly need to build that business. Now, how does appointment setting really work? It's stupid easy. Let's say the business owner or entrepreneur that you're working with posts a video on the internet with a CTA like, comment the word free and I'll send you some free info. Your job as an appointment setter is to reply to those CTAs, calls to action, and start conversations in the DMs. Gather information, and if that person is fit for the program and they qualify, then you can book them in onto a call. You are simply having a brief conversation with these people and booking them in through DMs. This is a very, very simple way for you to start making money online and get your foot in the door. You never have to show your face, you never have to take sales calls, and you never have to commute to a job. You can literally sit on your couch, send a few DMs, and make good money consistently and often. You can make anywhere between 3 to 10k a month by doing this. Commission rate is usually between 3% to 10% for appointment setters, but I'll give you an example just to break it down for you. Let's say you book in 5 calls a day and only 2 of them close. 5% of 5,000 is 250 per deal closed, so that means you made $500 in one day. You have the potential to earn between $250 and even $1,000 or sometimes even more a day. Just by sending DMs, your job is literally just to book in calls. That's it. You don't need a degree. You don't need any experience. You can start this today. Literally anyone can do this. It is super, super simple. Now I'm going to cover how to land a role and actually perform on the role. Step one is outreach. Step two is making sure the offer is of quality. 
And step three is actually sending those DMs so you can start earning. I actually have a video that shows how you can find those clients, so I'll leave it linked down in the description for you to watch that as well. But for now, I'll quickly run you through it. First, find a client with an offer, then send them a message like this. Hey John, I really like what you're doing with your business. Let me know if there's room for an appointment setter. I'm keen to join. Now while you wait for a response, hit the suggest button on Instagram and start messaging other people that are in the same niche as them. Aim to repeat this process at least around 100 times a day and you will land a role in no time. When reaching out, you can send a DM, you can send a voice message, or even a video. Just make sure you pitch yourself well. Now for step two, make sure the offer is legit. You need to be looking for an offer that costs over $2,000 and they have a good amount of following with a strong fan base. They need to have a solid engagement, good testimonials, and a supportive customer base. Now make sure you're focusing on offers that actually help people so you can sleep good at night. Now once you find a client, I'll show you exactly how you can lock in those appointments and bookings. We want to be dealing with an offer that has inbound leads, so a lot of times people will reach out spontaneously or they'll DM you with a CTA. And all you're doing is replying to kickstart the conversation. It's always good to begin the conversation with an open-ended question. Something like, hey John, what made you reach out? Or, hey Amanda, thank you for reaching out, what prompted you to message me? This gives them the chance to open up with what they're struggling with or why they reached out in the first place so you can take it from there. To move the conversation forward, ask them about their current situation and how long they've been looking to get into sales or e-commerce or whatever it is that they're reaching out for. Find out what they've already tried and why they believe this opportunity is the right fit for them. Understanding their motivations and their goals is also extremely key. You'll also want to gauge in this conversation if they financially qualify for the program and if they meet the criteria to actually be a part of it. Understanding this helps bridge the gap and ensures you both are on the same page before moving forward. And as promised, I'm going to give you guys a small list of do's and don'ts. Pay close attention. If you need to rewind, watch it again, but I'm going to go through these pretty quickly. Do be human and conversational. Don't be robotic and salesy. If people feel like they're talking to a robot or AI, they're going to clam up and you're not going to get far. Do follow up with people. Don't ever just leave conversations hanging. You should be sending people messages even after being left on read. I know, I know. Or even not getting a response for over 24 hours. You never know what happened. Do make it real and genuine. Don't lead with the sale. Your purpose is to help other people. You need to understand their situation and connect with them to only then prescribe them a solution if it's right. Do be honest and answer questions truthfully. Don't lie about the offer or make fake promises. That will look extremely bad on you and the business that you're working with. Do answer DMs quickly. Don't take over 12 hours to get back to leads. If you're replying to people every 12 hours, it's going to be really hard to connect with people. And they're going to forget where the conversation even left off at, let's be honest. Here are just a few examples of questions that might help you within the process. What do you currently do to support yourself? How long have you been wanting to get into insert business model? Has this been something that you've been wanting to do? What other things have you tried doing to solve insert problem? Why do you feel like this, insert business model, is the best thing for you personally? Once you grasp the basics, it's pretty straightforward. Now that you know how to outreach, what to look for in an offer, and how to appointment set, you should always focus on hitting your daily KPIs, your key performance indicators. So let's say you're aiming to book in at least five calls a day, you should be hitting those numbers every single day. Staying consistent with that is where you'll start seeing the money rolling in. This method is genuinely one of the easiest ways to earn money online. And appointment setting is what got my foot in the door to even get onto bigger and better things later on. When you combine this skill with other skills, the possibilities are endless. Start reaching out, find that client, get on the offer, and get going. When I first started getting into online space, appointment setting was the first thing that I actually did to transition out of my serving job and get the ball rolling online. But I will say I didn't do it by just binge watching YouTube videos like this. I wanted success and I wanted to get there as quickly and effectively as possible. People have absolutely done this on your own and if you believe that's the easiest way for you, then by all means, use this video, go out there and get that role. But just know that these two things might happen when you're trying to do this on your own. You're more likely to want to give up and get stuck and you're more likely to take 10 times longer to actually achieve success. When you're trying to do something on your own with no one guiding you, you could be 5-6 months in, achieve nothing, or even a year or two and finally see some success. But if you had the right people to guide you who have walked the path before, then you could have seen that success a lot quicker within months like I had. 
and I fully back the reason behind me getting results quickly being that I was surrounded by the right knowledge and right people. So just ask yourself this question. Do you have time to waste or do you need to act fast? I'll leave the first link in my bio to give you the opportunity to connect with the same training and community that I'm in. As always, follow me on my socials, subscribe to my channel, let me know down in the comments what you want to see next, but know that my DMs on Instagram are always open as well. See you next time. Peace out.